Welcome back to King's Quest Chapter 4, Snow Place Like Home. Haha, <laughs> you with the puns? Okay, so as I understand it, this chapter is going to be the puzzle intensive one, and I like to say that I prepared for this. I took a nap right before playing this, so hopefully my puzzle solving skills are on point today. Let's go. Aww. Um, kids! <laughs> it's your turn. Graham, wake up! <laughs> Married life. <laughs> Beats of flavor jelly beans! I'm asleep, I'm asleep, I'm so asleep. <laughs> So asleep, so asleep. Stay asleep, love. I'll check on the twins. Twins? Aww, it's not that Graham is a bad dad. He just doesn't wake up. Oh my gosh. Hey, uh, it's a. Uh... Ouch! Ooh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. No, Mr. Mr. Fancy Cakes. Our room is getting pretty crowded with all this baby stuff. Well, you don't have that many babies, do you? Ooh, it looks like we're gonna be making some milk. Twins! We have twins! Hello? What do you want me to do? What can I get you? Uh, where's that pamphlet? Does your mind need stimulation? Are, are you hungry? Oh, 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 you smell like a circus. <laughs> we should never have switched you over to Snoop Milk Formula. Not your style? Oh, that's the bad thing about having twins too. Because I feel like when babies cry, when one of them cries, the other one follows suit. Not good. What do you want me to do? What can I get you? Uh, how come this baby is blonde? What the heck? <laughs> Nobody here is blonde. Aww. Well, Gwendolyn has light hair color, but neither Graham or V have. Okay, that's really strange. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why. That is. This is where we put the used bottles. We got one baby dealt with just by pushing the thing. What is this? Organic snoot milk formula. Their palates can taste the difference. I'm told. You don't even have a cape now, and you can still do that. Cloth diapers. Every father's dream. Oh, baby. Maybe you need to change diapers? Hmm. All right. I can do this. Are you sure you're not awake, Valenice? <laughs> you're right. I got this. She's actually asleep now. Oh. We had to go with the cloth diapers. <laughs> All clean. How's it feel, bud? Are you oh, kidding me? Really? Oh, having twins is so much trouble. I suppose you need some milk? Hang on, can I get anything around here to help me? Hmm. Where are my knights? Where are my servants? She's so precious when she sleeps. And she doesn't let her hair down. It's the same hairstyle. <laughs> okay, you need milk. Ow, Where? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, they're both awake! Dang it. Oh my gosh. I can't run into things that make sound. I think. You need to go to sleep, baby. Good. We should probably be doing that at the end, because we might bump into things again. Hey, little baby. Can I just press your thing? Not your style? Oh, come on, it was your style two minutes ago. How to navigate this mess. Oh. Not going back to bed yet. 
Okay, don't. Don't. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get the milk. Where are my servants? This bottle's pretty cold. Yeah, good thing there's a fireplace right here. Ice cold baby bottle. It could be warmer. C could be warmer? What do you mean? Still cold. Oh. It could be warmer. That's... That's weird. Can we do something? Well, that would be a waste. <laughs> huh. Oh! Oh! Hot! That's not good. That's way too hot for the baby now. How do I make it... colder? Mm. I don't need any more bottles. I can't pour it back, but now I have a piping hot baby bottle. What do I... I really don't think a baby will appreciate this, but we can try anyway. Down the hatch. Oh, that bottle might Jesus! be so hot. Please don't remember this when you're older. <laughs> you know the thing about testing baby bottles? You gotta put a drip on your wrist because the skin on your wrist is really soft and thin. And that's how you test the temperature to make sure it's appropriate for babies. And very obviously, Graham hasn't been doing that. Oh god. How can I make a bottle... colder? Is there anything cold in here? I don't remember seeing so. The stuff on the ground- oh, there's the socks again. The stuff on the ground is just to confuse me, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to put that back it in, do I? Warmer. Could be warmer. Oh, hot. What happens if I leave it in there for it a could while? Be warmer. Hmm. I don't think. Well, it's not gonna magically turn colder. That's for sure. I can't do anything around here. Hmm. Maybe I'll just carry it around with me for now. Oh, hot. And I definitely can't do anything here. I don't need any more bottles. Yep. And I can't pour this into another bottle, which is how I assume you would normally cool it down by pouring it between different bottles. But that's uh not it's not allowed. Okay, I gotta I gotta do something about this. Not that. Not feeding it to the baby either. Hmm. No, we can't. Another diaper. Oh! Maybe I just need to change her diaper. What the heck? Hang on, didn't I get the diaper? Oh, they are really soft. Now I have it. Can I get another one? I don't need another diaper. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Can I put the... <sighs> hmm. Well, let's try changing little baby's diapers here. Does little baby have a name? Clean sheets. Hey, this diaper is clean. Okay, so... He or she doesn't need diapers. She... Wants cold milk. Not cold, but this not one needs piping a hot. Ah! Oh, okay, so that bottle was totally... We don't need it anymore because it wasn't good. We're just gonna start anew now. Okay, I think I get it then. Hang on. So we're gonna make another bottle. Mm hmm Is it possible for me to... Oh, this is really gross, but could I put the diaper... Uh -uh. These cloth diapers are not disposable. <laughs> the only method I can think of, you know, making this not piping hot is to wrap this cloth around it. But that's not a- it's just cloth. It's not, you know, it's nothing- it's nothing bad, so... It could be warmer. No, it's gonna get piping hot again. 
Perfect. Oh! Wow, that was a lot of effort for... <laughs> nothing. There we go. Your order is ready. There we go. Just right. You didn't test the temperature. All right, time for a burpin. Aww. Of course. Oh. I can't wait till you're older, and we'll shoot our bows, and go on adventures, and we will all sleep through the night. Twins are great, they said. Fun barrel of laughs, they said. Well, they never tried putting twins to sleep. Little baby, I just changed your diapers, so I assume you need a... You need milk. I'm just assuming. Our room is getting pretty crowded with all this baby stuff. Yep, it is. Could you pick it up? Our room is getting pretty crowded with all this... Oh, no, that's not how we do it. We gotta... Yeah. Yep, and then we'll put it... it right here. It could be warmer. This one's tricky. Very small window. Perfect. Down the hatch. I know. I'd rather have a burger too. No? Okay, Prince. I have an idea. Prince. Oh, I gotta keep walking. I may be king, but you are my prince. If life gets too puzzling, I'll give you the hints. Your quest has begun. My kingdom you'll run. I'll love you forever, my son. You are my arrow. I am your bow. Guiding your shot on the journeys we'll go. We'll make lots of puns, no puzzles undone. I'll love you forever, my son. You're the treasure on my map, the feather in my cap. And when my beard grows grayer and frail, you'll tell my tale. If you sleep soundly and try not to wake, tomorrow I'll whip up a stack of pancakes. Choco chips by the ton. <laughs> We'll have so much fun. I'll love you forever, my son. Aww. He's a great singer. Oi, do I have something in my teeth? Why? Got a hot date? I might. I haven't asked her yet. Is this Ooh. about Royal Guard number three again? Don't bother. I asked her out this morning, and she said I wasn't her type. <laughs> oh. Perhaps she's after a more muscular build. Like yourself? <laughs> Please, you look like a walking circus tent. Well, at least I don't dress like an upside-down lollipop. Your necklace is banal and trite. Your necklace is banal and trite. Well, you look like a trash can that swallowed a clown. <laughs> I'd say you should be guarding a bridge, but that's offensive to the other trolls. I can hear every word, you know. I'm <laughs> only six feet away. Zod, I thought she was royal guard number four. Still heard that? <laughs> they do know they're both dressed in the exact same get-up, right? Last year's model. Not everyone can keep up with the latest fashion trends like us, Larry. Up top. The collar. Boom.
Uh -oh. Did you hear that? Hear what? Is that Manny? Halt immediately! <gasps> Back away, intruder! This is your last act! <coughs> <coughs> Move aside, Bucketheads. Sheathe your swords, or die by them. Never! Not ever! That does sound like Manny. Take your move. Lock in. <laughs> the green eyes. It's Manny. Dead? <sighs> Raising these children will be our greatest adventure yet. I can't wait. Sweet dreams, love. Get the babies. Oh. No. <gasps> I wouldn't make any sudden moves if I was you. Manny? No. Only my friends call me that. You can address me by my full name. Mananan. What? Happened to you? Let's just say my mind outgrew my body. What do you want with me? <laughs> oh, Graham, why is it always about you? Stay away from them. Shh. You wouldn't want to wake them, not when they're sleeping so soundly. Hey there, little guy. You look like you could use a friend. You're the spitting image of your father. We can't be having that. <gasps> Don't you hurt him. What do you want? I'll do anything. What I want is for your family to feel the pain you humans brought on me. To know what it's like to be raised in a world that rejected you. And your child, this baby, this, uh... What's his name? Alexander. <laughs> no, that just won't do. It's too regal and uninspired. How about Gwydion? Sounds more like a slave name, doesn't it? If you want the crown, take it. Just leave our babies alone. Don't fool yourself. I could snap my fingers right now and drop all of you dead. But what fun would that be? It certainly wouldn't be very kingly of me. No, I want to earn that crown you stole from me, Graham, by proving that I'm better than you. And perhaps with a more thoughtful father, this child could help inspire change. Get your own kid. No, you can't. Don't worry. We'll be back one day to claim his birthright. And after our little Gwydion inherits the throne, he will better serve the needs of Daventry. 
for all species. It won't work. I'll find you. Just try. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> We gathered a search party immediately. No one in Daventry would rest until Alexander was found. Alexander! Alexander! You should probably switch into something more appropriate, though. That's not good for long searches. King Graham. Oh, no parent should have to experience this. Birds, get the message out. The prince has been kidnapped. Son! Can you hear my voice? Hello? Is anyone there? Oh. Hello? Is anyone there? It's not even morning yet. Have you seen the prince? Where have you taken my son? You won't find him like this. How about the well? Alexander! 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 Any sign? The first 24 hours are the most critical. We need to search everywhere. Contact everyone. The trolls. The Goblin King. Message Nice. Have her search in the West. Yes, absolutely. If she would respond to my letters. Oh no! What? Huh? Never mind. We'll work that out later. I won't sleep until Alexander is back in our arms. I'll reach out to the Hobblepots. They might know some magic that could help. Good plan. We looked up every tree and down every goblin hole, hoping for a sign or clue from our son. If it's any consolation, though, in the current day, we have both Gwendolyn and Gart, which means Alexander and his sibling should both be safe. Although I still wonder why Alexander's sibling has blonde hair. That's a little bit strange. Considering Graham and V are both black-haired. And not that real-life physics. Not physics, but biology should work like that. But... Being blonde is a recessive gene, right? So, that is really strange. Son, are you down there? Remember this place? We walked by it, but then we, we didn't do anything with these holes. This is near where Triumph was stuck in the net. Back when we were still trying to be a knight. Goblins, you better not have him down there for your sake. Do we know that this is all the doing of the goblins, or just that one goblin? Because I didn't get the feeling that he was with the other guys. I'm coming down there! I tore through that bedroom looking for any sign of my son. <laughs> oh... What about the dragon? The dragon's not here anymore. I don't hear rumbling. And then, I found <gasps> a small sliver of hope. <gasps> I will never stop looking. And we didn't. For 18 years, I never gave up hope. Oh my goodness. It's time, dear. We've done all we can. Daventry needs you to get back to work. I'm not sure if I remember how. Come on, Dad. I'll help. Rosella had grown into a beautiful young lady. Rosella. She was the perfect daughter. But it was hard for me to focus on anything knowing my family was incomplete. 
The Affordable Custard Initiative, really? That's the important paperwork crucial to Daventry's future? I'd rather be out searching for my son. Come now, dear. A spoonful of custard is the only joy some people get in this life. We have to break out of this funk. What about a vacation? The holiday's coming, and I've always wanted to visit the place where you met Mom. We have to get through all this paperwork first. Do you want me to whip up some chocolate chip pancakes? Uh, that does sound good, actually. Perhaps for dinner. Oh, I know. Staring contest. <laughs> Those always cheer me up. Oh, huh. I don't know. What's the matter? Afraid you might lose your undefeated record? Well, no, it's just... Too late. Daventry Decree P33R5 states that no one can deny a starring contest when challenged by the royal family. <laughs> I knew that decree would backfire. <laughs> You're pretty brave challenging your father to a staring contest. Oh, is that a smirk? Nope. I just have a smirky mouth. Has anyone seen my keys? No. <gasps> staring contest. Woo! I see a smile. <laughs> this beard covers all smiles. You will never win. It's moving randomly. I'm trying to keep it on her face. <gasps> Have I ever told you? They call me Pockets, too. It's a family name. Oh, are your eyes getting heavy? No. Mm. No. P kinda. Yours are? Pimples! Not funny. Okay, my eyes are really starting to hurt. Thinking on funny thoughts, sardine smoothies, frog dog Fridays, Wolfie's itchy back. Ew. Focus, Graham. You're slipping. <laughs> you are not concentrating. Tickle flight. Oh, 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 cheater! Cheaters, both of you. <laughs> <gasps> Alexander. What? Uh, actually. My name is Gwydion. 